this video I want to go over how to do a yield calibration in a 70 series combine using John Deere's command center. We're here on the home page right now. We want to move over to the diagnostic button, which is the fourth button over, and we want to hit that twice. That'll take us to the calibrations page where we want to scroll down to our calibrations drop down box, check our check mark on our armrest, and you'll see a list of choices. Your yield is down at the bottom. Check your check mark once you've reached yield and enter into that calibration. Depending on if you've met the criteria for this calibration, you can continue. In this case, we want to make sure we have an empty combine and an empty place to put that grain for an accurate weight. There's two ways to do a yield calibration. You can do it manually. Uh, it's in your operator's manual, page 35-35 in a 70 series combine. You can use that by dividing your, your known weights versus your uh, elevator weight and multiply that by your existing calibration factor and you will get your new calibration factor. Another way to do it is by using the steps inside the calibration sequence. If I go to page two here, it will ask me if I want to do a standard or low flow calibration. Page three is where I actually begin harvesting weight. One commonly asked question is do you have to stay on the screen while you're doing a yield calibration? The answer is no. If you return back by using this button at the left, take you back to your home page. At any point in time, then you could come back, return to your yield calibration, and it'll return you right back to that page where you could go to the last step, which is where you would enter in how much weight you had actually gathered. In this case, it's gonna fail since we're not uh, harvesting wheat at this time.